Good evening, Dr. Zakir Naik, and to one and all. My name is Srinil Patne, and uh, we have a family uh, restaurant business. Well, my question is, as we all know, God is the Almighty, the one and all. If he's, uh, sorry, he or she, I wouldn't genderize him. If God is so powerful, why doesn't he come down himself or clear all the sins in this world, make it the perfect place to be in? Why does it have to take so much of time? Like, as we all know, there is hell and there is heaven. Uh, the people who do good deeds go to heaven and the people who do bad deeds go to hell. He's testing us. Why does it take God 6,000 years to test us? Brother, that's a very good question. That why isn't God so powerful that he can come down and clear all the misconceptions? Why is it taking 6,000 years or more to test us? It's a very good question. And Quran says that if Almighty God wanted, he could have made everyone as Muslims. Quran says in many places. That means he could have made everyone believe in Almighty God. But the Quran says in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allazi khalaqal mawata wal hayata. It's Almighty God has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. It's like you telling me that, you know, we have gone to school. After 10 years, we appear for board examination. SSE board, CBSC, IGCSC. Now, why is the teacher taking test? Why doesn't teacher pass everyone? <laughs> if teacher passes everyone, everyone will get admission into medical college. And everyone will become doctors, and they start killing people rather than <laughs> curing. So in the medical examination, you say, why is our medical teacher failing us? He's failing us to know whether you're worth treating a patient or not. So similarly, Almighty God has created the human beings and have given the human beings a free will. All the other creations of Almighty God don't have free will, except the human beings and jinn have free will. The angels have no free will. Whatever God says, they follow 100%. But the human being is a superior creation than the angels. After Almighty God has given us a free will, then if we obey the commandment of God, we are superior than the angels. If we don't obey his commandments, we are inferior to the angels. So now, Almighty God has given us a free will. And before we came in this world, Almighty God asked us, who would like to become a human being? If you don't become a human being, you have just passed. You may either become mountain, they are Muslim, tree, they are Muslim, animals, they are Muslims, angels, they are Muslim. Muslim means submitting the will to God. All the animals are Muslims. All the stars are Muslims. All the plants are Muslims. All the angels are Muslims. Now, human being is a unique creation. It is the best creation of Almighty God. So God asked, who would like to become a human being? The Quran says, we human beings were fools who said we want to become human beings. That means, just pass, or if you become a human being, you may get distinction. All of us thought we'll get distinction. How many get will come to afterwards? So we have been given the free will. And now we are undergoing the test. So if Almighty God passes everyone, then I will say Almighty God is unjust. If Almighty God puts everyone in heaven, then I will die. I was such a good man. I did not rob. I was honest. That man, robber, rapist, even he's with me in heaven. I will object to Almighty God. Why did you put this person in heaven? So Almighty God, the Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 40, he is never unjust in the least degree. So therefore, Almighty God is merciful. He gives us a chance. He forgives us. But finally, he's also just. So based on this, we are undergoing this test. This life is a test for the hereafter. So we are a unique creation of Almighty God. And the purpose of this creation, as the Quran says in Surah Darya, chapter 51, verse 56, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ that Almighty God has created the jinn and the human beings not but to worship him. By worshipping him, that means obeying his commandments. If you obey his commandments, we pass in this test. Otherwise, the Quran says, if he wanted, he could have made all the human beings Muslims very easy for him. But we are a better creation, a unique creation. If we obey him, after free will is given, we are superior. Hope that answers the question, brother. Thank you.